One of the things that's really great about Storyline is that creating quiz questions is really easy. And that once you've created your initial quiz, your basic questions, you can go into slide view and customize the look and feel of your quiz to visually align with the rest of your course. And that's what we have as a really good example right here. Right, in this case, we have a quiz question, but it doesn't look like a standard quiz question. It's got a nice background. We've got a little different layout here for the question and the choices. You make a choice, submit, and you get some custom feedback that doesn't look like the default alert box that comes up. And it's the same thing here, right? Here's a different multiple choice question. Only this time we're not using the radio buttons, we're just using shapes and you're getting a custom selected state. Now when you first open Storyline and insert a basic quiz, it looks something like this, where you have the, the question, some choices, and a simple use of media for, for images. And this is really great when you need to build questions really fast, right? But if you want to make the questions look a lot different or make it look visually uh, similar to the rest of your slide, you can easily do that by moving into slide view and you can customize the quiz to look like anything you want. So in just a few minutes, we can transform a standard quiz question to a custom question. So let's jump into Storyline to see how this works. All right, so I'm starting with a blank slide. Let's go ahead and insert our first quiz question. And we do that by going up to slides and graded question. And if you look over here, you see we have a lot of choices for different types of graded questions. We'll choose multiple choice for this example and click insert slide. To customize the quiz, we jump over here to slide view, and this is where you can start to customize the way it looks. But for now, let's start with form view just to add our first question. Okay, and then we'll add three choices here. So Adams, Jefferson, Washington. So Washington is the correct choice, so we'll indicate that here. Now if we wanted to override the default feedback, we can do that here, right? There's some choices for how to uh, manage the feedback. If we wanted to indicate that there was some branching or jump to different slides, we could also do that. So a lot of choices here for the way you present feedback. We're gonna stick with the default in this example. And let's go ahead and insert a picture for this. So we go up to Media, and then Picture from File. And if you're following along, you'll have the assets for this quiz in the President's folder. And go ahead and just select White House and choose Open. And you can see the preview of the image both on over here on the form as well as, as the uh, slide thumbnail over here. Let's go ahead and just preview our quiz. So go to Preview Slide. All right, so here's our quiz question. We can choose the correct or incorrect choice. We'll start with an incorrect choice. You see that we have our image right here, which we can zoom in on. Click Submit, and here's our default feedback. If I replay the quiz, you can choose a different one. This time the correct answer, Submit, and then here's our, our correct feedback. So you have a couple options for how your quiz works. You can choose to shuffle the answers, which is what we have here. If you didn't want the answers to uh, the choices to shuffle, you could turn that off. And you also have some options for number of attempts that you want to give your learner, as well as how you score the, uh, the quiz. Do you want to score by the question or by the choice? And then you have a few more options over here for the types of media that you insert. But essentially, this is how easy it is to create a simple quiz and articulate Storyline. In the next tutorial, we'll look at ways to customize this quiz by jumping over to Slide View, where we have a lot more control over the way the slide elements look, as well as their layout.